Hey everybody, um, I read the book 1776 by David McAuliffe. It was published by Simon and Schuster on May 24th, 2005. I read this entire book cover to cover every word on every page. And here is the book cover. Uh, 1776 is basically a biography of the American Revolutionary War. It follows George Washington, King George III, uh, Nathaniel Green, and Henry Knox. This book pri primarily centers around George Washington. Um, it describes objective, detailed portraits of some of the most important American and British participants of the war. It opens with King George III, who is the king of um, the king of England and also a villain to many Americans? His desire is to bring the colonies back into the folds, um, and it seems sincere. But the author allows the reader to decide for themselves, which I really liked to see. Uh, this book gave a thorough report of the life of George Washington. It describes his educational background, his marriage to Martha Custis, his life as a wealthy Virginia planter, and his love for architecture and home decor. Um, his traditional-minded personality, you could tell through the book, comes through not just in his war exploits, but also in his personal encounters with his officers and men. I really liked about this book that it really took the reader into the trenches following each of Washington's battles with his New England militiamen who were untrained and unfit for battle. It described the weather that was there, um, what you would see, like the different, you know, way of life back in those times. So not only were the facts there, but then it felt like you were actually there because you got to hear the descriptive words of what the weather was like that day and what the smells were like and, you know, and what you got to see in those times. Um, so that's what I really enjoyed. I also liked how it showed Britain's view of things as well, and it let the reader decide their feelings on the matter. I didn't personally like that it jumped from person to person because it was honestly very confusing on who the chapter was about. Um, I think overall, though, this is a great introduction and summary of the American Revolutionary War. I feel like I learned a lot of details that I did not know before, and it's more integrated in my mind, and it makes more sense now. And so this will help me in my futures as a teacher. And I also didn't know that he wrote, he, he is a very famous historian writer, and he is like known as um, like the historian writer. So he's got other books, um, about different people and I am going to look into those because I like learning about this stuff, which I never thought I would say. Um, I built a lesson plan around the American Revolution. My, I chose to do fifth grade, um, as the group to teach this lesson to. So my students will do a Revolutionary War escape room where the causes of the Revolutionary War takes them on a secret mission around the classroom. Uh, the students will decode interesting facts about the causes of the American Revolutionary War, including the Boston Tea Party, the Boston Massacre, uh, French and Indian War, the Stamp Act, Sugar Act, Quartering Act, and the Intolerable Act. And I think this would be a great starting activity to introduce the Revolutionary War. And it also gets the students up, moving, and engaged. And that is going to keep the child interested in learning, and especially about history. Because normally, teachers just give notes and information, and it's so boring. So I think this would be a fun way to get the students interested in learning about history. So, um, yeah. So there's that. All right. Thanks, guys.